Hey, what's going on everybody? Brandon Charleston here coming at you with another tutorial. In this video, it's gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna show you how to use AI with specific to video editing and what you call ADR, also known as automated dialogue replacement. In certain scenarios, you may be recording audio or video and sometimes you don't have the opportunity to edit or really cut the audio bytes into a sentence that you want to convey in your particular video. In this instance, I did a video production with a client of mine um, doing public service uh, for a career night. Essentially, we brought in a helicopter. We had a lot of different um, police officers and ambulance and things like that where they simulated a vehicle crash. And so I'm putting together a video for them. And uh, being that, uh, you know, the, the event has been passed, um, I essentially have to put together a good story uh, for the client so that way they can push, push their content to YouTube, their website, and all that stuff to talk about the program. So in this instance, I'm going to show you how you can use AI so that way it can come up with some pretty darn good professional sound bites uh, so that way you know, the client, nobody would even have a clue. Now with this, obviously you want to be mindful and have practice good ethics and morale um, or moral I should say uh, when it comes to using AI to replace somebody's voice, right? So use that with caution and make sure that you're disclosing that with the client that you may or, not, may, or may not use AI in order to uh, make sure that the uh, message is consistent with the brand. So with that, let's go ahead and dive in. So I am in a popular platform called Premiere Pro. I'm sure everybody's heard of it. It's my uh, editor of choice, although I use DaVinci Resolve as well uh, for more specific color grading. So essentially what I did is uh, if you see here, let me just move my face a little bit smaller. I have uh, my, my timeline, right? So I put together this entire sequence uh, for my client and I'm about done, but uh, the client has told me that there are some scenarios where the actor or the, uh, the talent involved here um, either didn't say something in the right tone, maybe they used a different uh, word, maybe they have run on sentences. Uh, there's a lot of other things besides just the ums and uhs to clean up and make audio sound really good. So I'm just going to play a demo, hopefully this will play for you uh, cleanly, and so we'll see how that goes. Uh, just for context, anything that's in green here is a AI replicated sound voice. And so uh, before I get into that, what I used was what you call Eleven Labs. Level Labs is a very popular, in my opinion, one of my favorite audio dubbing uh, voice platforms. And so uh, basically, let's, without further ado, let's dive in. So this particular policeman, uh, basically, he used verbiage um, that was very specific to his profession and where it could be confused or maybe the, the receiver or the person watching the video is not going to really understand the dialogue. It's, he was just talking about like it's an everyday, you know, another police officer uh, based based on language that he uses. And so I'm going to go ahead and play this and then you tell me if it sounds legit or if it sounds like it, it's AI driven without you actually knowing or pretend. The of this program is to showcase what a real life scenario would be, what that looks like with all the different organizations involved, such as the fire department, the paramedics, the police department, and all the additional resources involved working together. You're under so you can see with that voice consistency, in my opinion, it's clean, looks good, it's enough for uh, the client to be happy. And then I'm gonna fast forward here as well. This particular police officer, was a little choppy with his words. He was trying to come up with uh, words and using a ton of ums, uhs, right? And so there's a lot of times we just need to work with them in the condensed amount of time available. And uh, I essentially worked the magic uh, with AI uh, to really come up with a very clean audio soundbite. And this is just a really you know, quick sample of where I uploaded it and then it spit it out with the context and the tone and the, the accent and everything else. So let's go ahead and play this. Today in the hands-on demo that we witnessed, it was a traffic collision, right? Two vehicles collided. And as it turns out, this is a result of a DUI driver in which there were unfortunate serious injuries involved, including deaths. So you can see here with this particular voice, you can just see his kind of 
his accent, you know, there's a specific way people's voice uh, come out and the way they perform or the way they pronounce, I should say, certain words. So I'll play another sample here. The events that we were a part of tonight and or witnessed are directly related to my profession as a firefighter. All right, all right, keep holding guys. And then you can see again here. They in the hands-on demo that we witnessed, it was a traffic collision, yeah. right? Two vehicles collided. And as it turns out, this is a result of a DUI driver in which. So this is all simulated just for context, you know, basically they, they did a scenario where they worked with students to be able to put all the different agencies involved to really investigate a car accident and to make sure that all the channels are properly and resources are properly used. So that way these folks, when they graduate from this particular school, if they want to serve uh, a career in the public services, this is a good scenario where uh, people can witness everything here. So this another one. And the reason I'm showing this is because you can see when you're working with humans, uh, we all have the way we sound. We all have, you know, how our voice box uh, comes out, our pacing, our tone, very natural things that AI doesn't really generally understand, especially it sounds robotic, right? And so there's another example. This is a DA um, and I'm gonna show what he sounds like. Just take into account the pacing, his accent, and when I use AI, if you can tell, I mean, if you could tell and if you would approve or not. I think this program did a very good job of explaining the things that the judge would consider, specifically that it's just an arraignment, just letting the defendant know their rights. I think they... You can see right there the green part. I'll play it again. I think this program did a very good job of explaining the things that the judge would consider specifically that it's just an arraignment, just letting the defendant know their rights. There's another example. And then I have the last one. This student, he, again, take into consideration his uh, accent, his pacing, the way he talks, right? And also, um, again, the, the whole purpose of this is to just showcase uh, just how when sentence come out, sentences come out, that it's the pacing when you have an end of a sentence taking a breath and when you have run on sentences or people just don't quite know the thoughts that they want to say when you're doing a talking headshot like corporate video such as this um, you know to be able to uh, really make sure it just flows right so here's another example this is on the tail end of the video I'm still doing some work here but this is just an example I'm just happy to be here to actually experience this because I've been interested in going into law enforcement so this has been a really fun experience. So on this one, uh, basically he has, I'll just play the extended part just to show you. For comparison, I'm going to silence this. Oh, that's my voice. Oh, that's definitely my head. I'm having some issues here. All right, let's mute this. So I'm gonna play the original. This has been a really fun experience, a really good experience. And Again, so you could see how in this particular sample, it would be unnatural for me to say and to end on it's been a good experience, right? So I'll play it again. Law enforcement, so this has been a really fun experience, a really good experience. And see that? So uh, what I'm doing is I'm basically cleaning up his flow of the sentence using AI to where the pacing and the rhythm is a natural and uh, is complete. I'm just happy to be here to actually experience this because I've been interested in going to law enforcement. So this has been a really fun experience. All right. Let me just turn my face back on. So uh, essentially what I'm going to do here is so oh, what's going on? All right. Something's going on here. There it is. All right, I'm back. So what we're going to do is, um, in order for to do this, this is pr pretty simple. You're just going to go into Eleven Labs, right? And you're just going to lo log into account. Uh, it's pretty affordable. I think it's like twenty-two dollars a month. You get fifty uh, percent off the first month. At least that's what worked for me. So don't quote me if it's not there for you. And we're just going to click on Voices. We're going to add a voice. Now, what you're going to want to do, at least is what I did, is if I'm taking a sample. Uh, this is obviously a video and audio sample just for a quick obviously there's a million different ways to go about it but in my case i'm just going to go here i'm going to edit sound 
um, in Adobe Audition. And then just because I want this specific sample, you can see this is what I'm it is. To be here to actually I'm going to export. We're going to export this file in Adobe Audition. And for those that, are not, that don't know, Adobe Audition is specific to audio dubbing and making sure that audio is clean and you can do all the things. I mean, anything with Adobe, it's just like, you know, creative heaven for, for most folks. And if you're not Adobe a person, I digress. But anyway, um, we're going to export this. So I've already done that. And then you're going to want to just upload that to, I did instant voice cloning. Now another cool feature here, this takes a lot longer, but it's professional voice cloning. So if you know you're gonna want to create, a, they say a replica of yourself or one particular person on an ongoing basis, where you wanna use it for things like B-roll and being able to use it uh, for podcasts, anything like that, then you can use this. That way in, you know, in post-production, you could really make sure you have good, clean audio uh, for using AI and even doing things that you don't wanna record, right? Right? So that's the leverage here and it's a crazy world we live in now. So I used instant voice cloning and all I did is I just dragged the video there and then you upload it and then I just hit use and then you just type it out. We're going to do this police officer first. We'll see if it works. Okay, what is going on here? All right, so we're going to use this one and we're just going to say specifically it's just an arraignment. This is a, a, a previous voice text here and so we're going to generate speech specifically that it's just an arraignment just letting the defendant know their rights so this is the police uh video or police uh, voice this is not in that da's uh accent so that's why but anyway without getting this video too long um i just wanted to show you how to use 11 labs and how it can definitely be some good quality professional dubbing or adr i should say uh, for professional voice or pro professional video production. And uh, with that, that's uh, about it. So I hope this video was helpful. Um, if you like more information or more things like this, please put it in the comments and I'm happy to do that. Uh, just as a side note, you know, basically I, I post everything here on, my, on this channel when it comes to AI, automation, uh, business, things like that. Um, and I also do video production and uh, work with uh, AI and automation uh, lead generation. So uh, if you're looking for more content such as this, I'm just going to keep pushing it out because these are things that I do on a daily basis and the tools that we have in order to you know make more money um live our best life and save time and and this is just cool shit that we're always working with right so uh anyway thanks for watching please like and subscribe uh, i really appreciate you guys uh, watching this content you know the, the subscriber account is going up and so i'm really grateful for all of you that is following me on this journey i'm looking to grow this youtube channel and just help as much as i can you know my biggest thing is to serve you know these are great tools that we have um and so without further ado and not getting too long-winded but hope you have a great rest of your day and chat soon.